today is uh wednesday june 14th yeah wednesday june 14th good morning i am off work today thankfully because today is j cole's concert and it's later on tonight me my sister my brother-in-law and my husband are going so i will be getting ready for that first things first getting this nail fixed because my nail popped off like I've been getting this dip powder, which is like, in my nail shop, I know they call it SNS, but I've been getting this for a few months now, and it usually do very well, but God, this, let me tell y'all how God don't like ugly, because the guy who did my nails, um, I think I got them done like last Monday, so, or no, last Wednesday, so the guy who did my nails, he was being pretty rude, so I just pay for my nails i didn't tip him anything normally i would tip them a few dollars but he was being rude like he just got up in the middle of doing my nails and walked out so i took a phone call came back didn't say excuse me didn't say i'll be right back nothing like he was really rude so i was like really what's the point Anyway, so he was being very rude, so I did not tip him. And then this one time that I didn't tip, my nail pops off. So now I got to come back to get it fixed because I don't want to go to a concert missing a nail. And I hope he's not in here because he's probably going to be looking at me like, I know you did not come back, which you ain't even give me no tip. So we're going to see. But I'm about to head into the nail shop and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, so I'm back in my car from getting my nail fixed. It's currently fixed now, but I'm just over it. Like, I'm over going to these nail shops and they're treating you like crap. Like, I don't feel, I don't ever feel good when I leave the nail shop anymore. Like, this is the nail shop that I go to, T-Nails. And it's um on Winchester, near Hacks Cross. Like, in that area, if you're from Memphis. And it used to be so nice. Like, they used to speak and, hey, what can I do for you? And be nice and enthusiastic. But I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's me. Because I see them go in and they, they're nice to certain people. Like, I don't know nail shop etiquette. Is it because I don't come in and I don't get, like, a full manicure slash chillax slash manic pedicure and... I don't know like is it that i don't spend enough money with y'all so i'm just not valuable to you or like what is it because i see some of their customers come in and they're like hey baby what you need um did you, did you? you know they're they're doing their little thing and they're they're all enthusiastic and happy and treating them nice but when i come in it's like what can I do for you i want to get um sns like so for instance i'm gonna be specific Today, when I walked in, he said, what can I do for you? I said, I want to get my nail fixed with the SNS. And he said, you know your color? I'm like, yes, I have a picture of it. So I showed him, told him the number. He got it. Sit down. I'm like, he never, well, actually, back that up, back that up. He never told me to sit down. So I said, do you want me to sit right here? And he was like, yeah, sit there. And then he said, you, you have your color. I told him again. He picked the color out. He started doing my nail like this just I'm spending too much money. I don't care if it is $35, $40 every two weeks instead of $100 every two weeks. It's still too much money of my hard earned money to come in there and for you to treat me like you don't really want me here. Like, man, I'm just I'm over it. I'm not finna keep spending my money in these type of places and they're going to treat you like that. Like, it's not even fair. I'll find me a nail shop that can do my nails decent. Or right, because man. I'm vlogging on my phone and my husband just called me and ended my rent. But that was just me saying that it needs to come to an end. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to keep spending my money with people who treat you like crap. You work hard for your money. They're going to do your nails and just treat you like, oh, well, well, whatever. So, and especially, especially when I see them be very very nice to other customers so i'm like what is it is it me and my difficult customer and i don't know it like what i do i ain't did nothing so anyway 
I'll see y'all guys a little bit later once I pick my husband up from the barbershop. I got the tiger's blood, tiger's blood supreme, and Elton got the pineapple, but it's really good. You think it's good? They should. And if you're ever in Memphis, you should definitely come to Jerry's because it's delicious. It's pretty much snow cone and ice cream together, and it's the bomb. Let's try a little. Wait. Dude, pans little though. Why is that accepted? Like that's the swag though. Like Yeah, he flooding cuz. You you flooding cuz. They used to be on your ass for flooding, bro. It's like man. Them big ass shoes. It's supposed to be flood. That's okay. We gonna leave them alone. It's cuz flood. <laughs> this had to do that one. Them it's brown supposed pants. To be the flood, bro. The nigga in the blue flood too. <laughs> yeah, you think that man like, that should look nice on TV. What if that? Yeah. We fat as hell. We come to Jerry's at least once a week. At least we don't come twice a week. And it shouldn't be. We're not going to be able to come at all. Yeah, I'm coming to Jerry's. You visit Memphis, nigga. Ain't like you going to drive from Nashville. I might. Mm -hmm. It's that good. I might hit that four hours on them. Turn it into three because you really want it. I'm a little big daddy, nigga. What? I'm a big dad. We need to Quit worrying about that man. He ain't worried about you. This, what we're doing, is called people watching. We this people. is a common sport. <laughs> we people watching. Mm -hmm. We judging. No, I'm not judging anybody. You if judging. I was judging him, I would have said, that's a cheap ass suit you got on, bro. Like, we did say his tie little. I can't get over how his tie is sitting on his belly like that. You big. Bro, get a bigger tie. You gotta get an extra long tie if you be, cause it gotta go over the hump of your belly. No, it don't. It's not it does. <laughs> like your belly is round, so it has to stretch over that. So you need a little extra room. You know. He could have tied that. Tie he got a cover. He got a cover more ground. Let's just say this. He doesn't. He could have tied that tie back. I'll give you that one. He like he just woke up this morning, had to be at work at eight, woke up seven fifty. Bug it. Do that Bug shit it. on fuck it. Tie his little fucking head tie. Get these kids out of here. Sorry. It is what it is, cuz. I'm still a business professional. They strippers. Hmm? She a stripper. Which one? With that blue one. She look like a stripper. She look like the white girls to be strippers. Mm. Mm, still spilling it. Cause you just knocked my damn hand. When you trying to vlog and eat, 
instead of just damn eating. Nah, you just messed up my whole fit. If I wanted to be fresh today, I ain't gonna be because of you. But they ain't gonna feed Big Daddy none. He might not want none. Hell nah, see, hold on, bro. You worried about it. You want some of my ice cream? Mm -hmm. You gotta get it. Because I'm already wet. Damn. God damn. You so. See, I said it let you do. Nah, you flicked it. Retarded. But mm. he might not want nothing, boo. He big ass got out that car and ain't want shit. He might just want to hang out with his friends. These are his fucking coworkers. He don't care nothing about the motherfuckers. <laughs> they hanging. Mm -hmm. Nah, he ordered food. It used to take longer when he yeah, Hopefully he got he just got some grub. So we gonna stick around just see if bro gets some food. Now if they leaving, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't have had motherfucker do you too, bro. Be dirty as hell. He grown. He yeah. He gotta get his own money. That nigga hungry though, bro. Damn, bro. He ain't got paid and shit. Fuck with me. You ain't right. You ain't right, cuz. They just came and chill. For the they eat, everybody eat ice cream but him. Nigga on the phone eat ice cream but him. Well, I guess that nigga he talking to ain't got nothing. They don't like ice cream. Who? Big dude. So you can count on how many hands, how many big dudes don't like ice cream? Some people don't like ice cream. How the fuck you get to be? Bro, genetics. Genetics. These methods, chicken, I don't know. We gotta go. You just talking bad about everybody. These folks just came to get them some good old ice cream. Look how fast she walking. <laughs> she walking so fast. Yeah, she's whoop my ass on her. I need to get my eyebrows done. Why are you looking like that? You what? Because I said I need to get my eyebrows done. Right now, I can what? Yes, so I can walk around with no eyebrows? I'm good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have none playing with you. This one right here, extra rough. This one, I ain't. Need a chapter. Here you go. You got new people to talk about. He, he just, don't trap now. He can trap before. He work hard for his family. Look at the trap. Look at that trap. Got a little shade into him. <laughs> he got them '90s R&B single shade. Mm-hmm. You hop out with them hoes, you can move some weight. Well, I'm gonna eat my food now. Well, my snow cone. Why? Why? I'm gonna eat my snow cone now. Because it's melting. It's melting. <laughs> and Big I'm, daddy, get that food. Told you, you got some food. <laughs> Nah. Big Daddy said, fuck that shit. The motherfucker not gonna eat all that shit and not let me have shit. He just, he didn't want everybody to see him order. So he came back and ordered. Mm. He did two chili cheese, bro. We supposed to smack him. All in the camera. But... Yeah. I'll let y'all later. So I'm back at home. We went to Jerry's, as you saw. And now I'm home finishing packing because I am in the mo process of moving. 
And right now, I'm in my beauty room, and I'm having to clean this up because in my new place, I'm not going to have a beauty room anymore. So, I will just um have only a one bedroom apartment and so i'm pretty much packing this stuff up and i'm in the middle of cleaning out this desk here because i um i won't have the room anymore so i kind of need to sell it get rid of it as much as possible and i'm gonna try to buy me a smaller table um something about the size of this big shelf right here that i have so I'm going to try to buy a smaller table like that size and I'm going to put that inside of my room instead of this big old table because I'm, I don't know. I'm going to make it work some way, somehow, but it is a smaller apartment. Right now I'm in a about a 900 something square foot apartment and the one I'm moving to is only like 700 square feet. So it's, it's a smaller apartment. And I, this is something I'm going to have to get used to. It's a sacrifice because we're moving to a different city. So the cost of living in the city that I'm moving to is so much more than where I currently am. So it's just wise for me to get a one-bedroom starting off, um, get a feel of where we're going to be, the area, and then we may move to something a little bit bigger. But as of now, one-bedroom shoddy. And it is what it is. I mean, like I said, I'm cleaning this out trying to get this stuff together everything must go we're selling a lot of our things like we're selling our dining room table we're going to try to sell this i bought my husband a punching bag for christmas we're going to try to sell that because all of those things that we have are built for this apartment we won't have a garage anymore like we have a garage attached to our current apartment and we won't have one anymore so it kind of defeats the purpose of my husband having this um oh you can see me so much better like this i should have been this way so it kind of defeats the purpose of my husband having that um punching bag because we won't have anywhere to hang it i guess you could set it in a corner and use it that way but <laughs> i don't want that sitting in my living room so we gotta get rid of that too um i'm trying to think what else have i been up to mainly this move has is the biggest thing that i've been doing that's why y'all haven't seen me making hardly any videos but i kind of want to vlog more because it's like the easiest thing for me to do sometimes i don't have time to set up and think of a video idea and film it then edit it like vlogging is so simple because i could just bring y'all along with what i'm already doing so kind of let me know in the comments if you like my vlogs because i kind of have this misconception about um the smaller following that i have on youtube i feel like people are not interested in my life because i really am a boring person but um i watch vlogs all the time and most of the people i watch are not doing anything like extravagant they're just they're just doing normal oh everyday life stuff so pretty much i don't think you have to be this amazing person traveling the world to do vlogs um if you like vlogs you just like vlogs so you'll watch pretty much anything and i'm gonna give it a little shot i'm not gonna commit to any weekly vlogs monthly vlogs. No, i'm not gonna commit to anything just yet but i will give it a shot and if you guys like it i will keep doing it so i'm gonna get to cleaning up my room i'm not gonna ramble y'all heads off so i'm gonna clean up and i'll be back